All right, so I have here today my post fly box for the month of June, I believe, and I have not opened this yet. I don't even know what the fly for it is because they haven't posted the video yet, but I'm about to crack this open and see what we're working with. All right, so inside, as usual, we have the little poster. That's a pretty cool poster. I like that one. And then I do notice there's something with eyes in here. And, okay, this is a booby fly, which, if you're unfamiliar with this, is, this is a pretty famous pattern. It's supposed to be good for trout and bass, because it has, like, big eyes. And I think it was originally developed as a damselfly imitation, but that's the fly that's in here, and I like this one. I've never tied these, so I think this will be pretty interesting. Then the sticker is real cool. It's a little trout with, like, a mountainous background type thing in natural colors and then the tool they have is a little carabiner which is pretty cool pretty useful all right now i'm going to actually open this up and see what's in here material wise all right so i've opened that up now i've just got to tear the staple Staple's always pretty annoying. I'm actually going to pause the film real quick and open that up. Alright, so now I have this opened up so we can start to take a look at some of the materials in here. And again, these are taken down, or fastened down by a staple with all of them. So here's the example fly, which is what I'm going to be going over most in this video. And you can see here the hook is a size 10. And that looks like a streamer type hook or an XL dry fly hook. But here's the example fly, which I'm going to just show you real quick what that is. And um, I am having to remove the staple real quick with my hand. Alright, so there you go. I think I have it opened up enough, but I'm just going to open up the bag for sure this time. So the staple's not hanging there. And you can see here all the stuff laid out. And it looks pretty good. I've had this box for the year. And I've been pretty satisfied with it so far with my subscription. Because the materials are pretty high quality. And there's a lot of them. Like you can see here. And then you'll sometimes if you preserve your materials, you'll end up with extra materials. So... There's a bit of tape on this that I want to take off real quick, and then I'll show you. They really do package this, so I'm going to pause the film again and open it up real quick. Alright, you can see here I've gone ahead and just cut off any tape and staples that remain, and I'm going to open this up. Alright, so you can see here I've got the fly, and... It has a nice profile. It actually looks sort of like a gurgler, but with the bigger type eyes on the foam. And um, it actually doesn't look like it'd make a terrible hopper imitation if it was in a natural color, which luckily there are some natural chenille colors in here and options to choose from. So all in all, I think this is going to be a pretty solid pattern. And I will make a video tying this tonight or tomorrow so stay tuned for that and yeah that's going to be it for this video if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe for more videos and you comment any thoughts on this video and yeah thank you for watching that's it for today